Hi everybody, Matthew, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm back, I'm back with the hauls. I just want to apologise to everyone that has privately messaged me asking where I were. Uh, the past few weeks, I took about three weeks out of filming on YouTube. Uh, I just needed to basically sort my life out, just organise my life, uh, get things sorted at home, appointments, blah, blah, blah. But I am back. Um, and another thing as well, I'm kind of getting bored of doing the same stuff on YouTube. I'm either doing Home Bargains, b &M, or Poundland Hauls. Um, so I do really, really want to desperately uh, mix it up a little bit. But this is another haul, unfortunately. Um, but it is around the shop's haul, so it's a bit different to just the one uh, shop. Um, I just want to thank everyone who subscribed to my channel. Uh, I did actually hit, oh, I'm now over 2,500 subscribers, so thank you so much and welcome on board. And to every single person that is still on my channel as well and watching my videos, thank you so much. But I'm not going to ramble on anymore because uh, I'm not sure how long, long that this video is going to be. We're literally just going to get straight into the video. <laughs> So it is a mixed kind of haul. Uh, I went to B&M, I went to Poundland, I went to, popped into Primark, I popped into CEX, I popped into Foot Asylum, and that's it, that's it. So I'm not gonna go in any in particular order. I will show you what I picked up from, we'll start with B&M. There's not a lot I needed from B&M. Now, I popped into B&M because I wanted some birthday bits because I have a friend. Not a friend, just someone who I get on with. Uh, I just wanted to put some things together for her. Um, now, this isn't for her. So, the first item I picked up, we have heard this kind of word for the past year and a half, nearly two years. No, about a year and a half. So, I picked up some Krona. <laughs> I picked up a bottle of Krona. This was from me. Um, this is for me, sorry, and this is, I think they're sixty nine, one pound eighty nine for a bottle of that. So I picked up that. And then I picked up a, another drink, a uh, bottle of Stella. Uh, so I picked up that. And again, that is either pound sixty nine or pound eighty nine, something like that. I mean, corner shops sell them for about £2, £2 plus. Um, then I picked up... Like I said, it's not going to be in any in particular order, but I've seen these all over the internet and it is the hand wash of Fabulosa and this is in the scent Rainbow Drops. Um, I thought Rainbow Drops was in, was like a pinky purple kind of liquid, so um excited to try that and it is antibacterial, which is good. I think that was £1.49. And then I picked up um, some shampoo. And this is the Creighton's one, and this was only a pound, and it's coconut and keratin, is that how you say it, shampoo. So I picked up, that's quite a large bottle for a pound. So sorry about the light. Picked up that. And then for my mates, not my mate, but someone who I kind of know, uh, I like, like I just said, I just like to put things together. So picked up some skin wipes, kind of to go in like a little gift bag. Uh, these are the hyaluronic acid ones, and there was only 79 pence. I was going to pick up two, but I just didn't want, like, a box full of um, uh, skin wipes. Uh, pick this for, up for me. I've shown this before on my channel, and it's the Hers Hershey's uh, Cookies and Mint. They're quite nice, they are. They're 50 pence each. They were practically empty, the box. Uh, and then I picked up to go in the little gift bag box for her uh, foot peel, the exfoliating foot peel mask, and that is a pound, so I picked up that. And then I picked up the um, olive, olive oil hand mask, and that was also a pound. For masks and stuff, I do find B&M the best place to get them from. And then I've seen this in B&M, hopefully it focuses. It's a me to you uh, chocolate bar, and this was a pound, so that will go in there as well. So I thought that was quite cute for a pound. And then they didn't have a lot of balloons, but just picked up these pack of pink uh, balloons, and it's just got birthday girl on the front. Um, Twenty pack, and they were one pound forty nine. 
so I picked up those for £1.49. Um, because there wasn't a lot of choice, I went into Poundland after as well. So I needed a gift bag. Uh, they didn't have any in B&M, so Poundland had one. And um, I picked up this one. Uh, it's a pink and with the gold stripes, so it's quite nice. It's quite a large, medium, large kind of bag. So I picked up that. And obviously it's from Poundland, so this was a pound. So picked up that. And then I grabbed, I wish, I, I don't think I've seen it, but the I picked up the Gliss Schwarzkopf uh, Hair Repair Shampoo. It is a large bottle. I think that was £1.49, but I'm not sure. I think if I seen the conditioner, I would have bought the conditioner just to go with it. That's just to go in the box, gift bag as well. And then I picked up uh, a shower gel, the Unicorn, um, 400ml. Picked up that to go in as well for a pound. <coughs> then a small box of milk tray. Uh, they're only a quid, so I picked up that. I mean, little things like that just all add up. Uh, she's a bit of a smoker, so I just... Uh, picked up a little free pack of lighters. They just thought they help, so picked up those. They didn't actually have any nice lighters, so uh, then I picked up. They didn't have a lot of candles as well. Will it focus? Just this wild berry pillar candle, uh, pound. So picked up that, and then uh, this is from me. I'm not sure how super glue is from Poundland, uh, but this was a pound. So I have some shoes that I'm trying to repair because they're my favorite shoes. And I'm just one of those that don't want to part with them. So I picked up that for a pound. <coughs> then she's apparently addicted to, uh, I've never heard of these and these are McVitie's uh, coconut rings. So she loves these. So I'm just going to throw those in as well. So I picked up those. These were only 50 pence, quite a large pack. Picked up those from Poundland. And then I just picked up a birthday card. Uh, this one's a pound. I know you can get like three for a pound. Uh, and it's just got birthday celebration in the like a banner, the gin, and then it's got all the glitter around the rim of the glass here. Uh, so I picked up that for a pound. Card, card is a card. And then I picked up a Nivea lip balm just to go in as well in the scent rose for a pound and then if you can see these i'm not sure if you can these are like uh <clears throat> the, this is called a fan decoration uh, and it's like a, a gold a rose kind of gold fan just like a birthday celebration and you get a large one and two smaller ones so I picked up that i mean b&m had none of this um it was pretty plain and then the last thing I grabbed from Poundland was a circle garland, uh, three meter. So, and it's just like rose gold kind of discs on string. So I thought that was pretty nice as well. So I picked up that. And then I popped into Greg's because she absolutely loves yum yums. So I just picked up one of those for a pound, two pack of yum yums. Very, very random, I know. And then I popped into CEX, I'm sure that's what it's called. Um, I picked up an old classic film called Harry Brown. Uh, let me know if you watched that, guys. And it was only £1.50. So picked that up, £1.50. And then I picked up a bit of a boring game. Uh, not boring game, but bought an item to you. But uh, uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Now, this was £5, and this is for like PS2. Um, but I'm sure you can get it cheap online, but I paid £5 for that. I was a bit naughty because the price tag said £2, but when I got to the till it scanned at £5, but whatever. Uh, then I popped into WH Smith because I've been after this book. I could have purchased it from my workplace, but I like to support the high street because it was cheaper at work, but I paid £14. And it's the Sarah Harding book. If you don't know who she is, she's from Girls Aloud. Uh, and unfortunately, she's suffering, not suffering, well, she is, but she has got uh, terminal cancer. So I'm I'm not much of a reader, but I'm not a, 
autobiography I like to read so I thought I'm going to give that a go um, and that was £14 from WH Smith so I'm excited to read that I think it only came out in February um, and then I popped in to Primark I'll show you the Primark stuff after last uh, then I popped into Foot Asylum I needed some trainers I'm trying to get into trainers instead of flat shoes uh, and I picked up these and these are a pair of night trainers now these were £98 hundred pounds uh, so put pick these up but i absolutely love them hopefully they focus because they're light um but they're so <clears throat> uh they're so cute so a pair of white trainers and as you can see the night tick looks like looks like a charge on it that's probably what sold it to me so picked up these uh soul's pretty plain uh love the night tick the tongue is a bit of a peachy color let me just put this here so the tongue, one sec. Yeah, so the tongue is a bit of a peach colour, and then you got the night tick, and on the back as well, uh, Nike, uh, and all this little writing. But I absolutely love these. These are a size ten. I'm six foot two, and I'm only a size eight to nine, uh, so I do actually have small feet. Um, so I picked up those. Uh, but when you wear socks, they're pretty much they're they're comfy so uh then i popped into primark uh which is the last bag i'll show you what i picked up from primark i really wanted some black jeans uh so i picked up some black jeans let me show you the trainers first not trainers but like plimsolls so i brought these uh some flat creamy kind of plimsolls and these were eight pounds so Thought they were quite cute and they can go with like black jeans just want to be a bit more casual because uh, i always tend to wear the same stuff so purchase those eight pounds can't complain they have them in different colors as well and then i picked up yeah black jeans i'll insert a little clip if i can um i was really worried about these because of I know with jeans and Primark, you've always got to like upsize or you've at least got to try them on. Uh, but I did actually pick up my size. Um, so they're just a normal black, a dark black pair of black jeans. And these were only a 10, these were 10 pound. Now I weren't too bothered if they didn't fit because I weren't going to cry over 10 pound. So, but they are skinny and they are really cuffed at the bottom here. So, and they fit absolutely perfect on me. So picked up those for a tenner. And then I picked up, um, I picked up this bag, and it's I just want a bag for like when I'm going out meeting mates, uh, saves me carrying stuff. So I picked up this dark blue bag, and it's quite it's all right. I, I weren't in love with it. I would have preferred it in black, but they didn't have it. So it got a little side pocket, and then uh, three little zip pockets on the main one here, on the top, and then one on the back. Uh, now this was seven pounds um but then she scanned it at the till and it only come up as two pound so i think that was such a bargain for two pound i wish they had it in black but you can't really complain so that that's kind of my little bargain of the day and then i picked up that's three items i picked up these straw now primark of they're just going all out with the home decor um this isn't really home but picked up these straws and how nice were these be for like summer in the garden drinking lemonade so picked up four straws with those little slices of fruit on and they were only one pound fifty bargain i think this is so cute so picked up those for one pound fifty and then i picked up i wanted a little flask for work so picked up this was seven pound i absolutely love toy story um i used to have every figure of the toys from toy story but i went and sold the whole lot because it was a large amount of money but anyway um so i picked up this flask with the little cow patches on and this was seven pound and it's 12 hours of hot water or 24 hours of cold water so that would be perfect i'm not sure how you clean these i'm not sure if you need one of those brushes but anyway i absolutely love absolutely love that flask for seven pounds <clears throat> and then the last item, 
trying to introduce a bit of green into the silver um my place is silver so i absolutely love these cushion covers yes cushion covers and they're such a nice green um trying to introduce a bit of gold as well actually so purchase these the green is absolutely stunning now these are four pound each so i picked up two uh, i'm going to try and get some green like i just said i'm going to try and get a load of plants and stuff uh but yeah, four pound each. I don't think it's too pricey because the quality is really, really nice. The back is plain, a bit of a satiny kind of look. But the pillow, uh, they're, they're really the cushion covers. They're really, really nice. So um, picked up two of those for four pound, guys and girls. Mm. So that is pretty much it for my haul. I'm been approached by a company called Click Marketplace. So hopefully I'll be getting back to them and collaborating with those as well. Um, and yes, thank you so much for watching everyone. Please, please, please subscribe to my channel, you know, uh, and give it a thumbs up. Let's try and get 70 likes on this video. And um, any comments, drop them in the comment box down below and I'll catch you in my next video.